Good morning, Upper Providence. I am your host, Scooter Magooder, alongside our very friendly first grade teacher, Mr. Hedrick. Uh, I think that way. High, high five. <laughs> that works. How are you guys good. doing? Thank you. Right. Yeah, on. Two, three. <laughs> yeah, that works. <laughs> yeah, all right. It might be the opposite. So, Mr. Hedrick, uh, I noticed the glasses. Are you now prescription wearing glasses person? No, um, actually, these are not prescription. They are the blue light glasses or okay. screens. And actually, fun fact: this is screen-free week. Ooh, hmm. that so might be a little difficult for anyone in our school. Just a tad, especially even trying to get this uh, video created. Yeah, and we maybe we should have Mister Nice draw the draw the slideshow. <laughs> yeah, and, and then Mrs. That, Bowman can put it off for the art show. Perfect. Yeah, but that's why I wore these glasses today got them off of Amazon for just a few dollars. Now, okay. if you have, if kids have these at home or their parents might have them, some people think they work, some people think they don't, but we're on our screens so much nowadays, we don't want to, you know, damage our eyes or anything like that. And if you don't have them, don't go out and buy them. There's no reason to. You can follow a simple rule called the 20, 20, 20 rule. And basically 20, 20, for every 20 minutes that you're on a screen, you okay. have to stop, look up at something that's at least 20 feet away from you and stare at it for 20 seconds and gives your eyes a chance to relax because you're so focused. And a lot of the times kids are like this with their screens. Super close up. Super close. So we want to take care of our eyes guys and you only get one set of those. So we don't want to damage them and try to stay off of the screens as much as possible. Okay. We'll give that a whirl. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Hey, so, yeah. Guess what? 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 I'm, I give up. Guess what? Chicken butt. Chicken butt. <laughs> Wearing that shirt today. I like it. Got it. Got to do it. Got to. Got to do it on third, third Thursday. All right, boys and girls. I'm your host, Scooter Magooder, alongside Mr. Hetrick. It is Thursday, May seventh, two thousand twenty. Let's stand for the pledge of allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. And now the pro-social pledge. Today, I will do my best. I will keep myself and others safe. I will keep my comments positive and encouraging. I will be honest. I will give and receive kind feedback. I will focus on what's important. I will always participate to the best of my ability. I can learn. I will learn. You see, I know it's all up to me. And boys and girls, it is Thursday, so that means theme song Thursday, but not yet. Look outside for the weather. Here we go. Theme song Thursday. If you know the answer, you have a guess, you can put that in the comments below. All right, are you ready? All right, Mr. Hetrick has the theme song. We'll try right, to get the audio go. correctly. <laughs> Move it a little closer. Bring it up. A little closer. All right, boys and girls, there you go. If you know the answer, you can take a guess in the comments below. Good luck. And Good luck. like I said, our lunch choices now, Mr. Hetrick. You're getting to eat lunch every day at home. What are some of your favorite choices here? Well, I like to start my day off with a wheatgrass smoothie. Ew, no. <laughs> I just go out back and I cut some grass, you know, put it in the blender. That's all it. you have to do, right? Don't try that at home, kids. That's right. Not get safe. those dandelions if you're going to get them. All and right, and another thing that you'll have. Usually I uh, have a tossed salad with some honey mustard dressing. You know, it's my favorite. That's your fave. That's your jam. Right there. Yeah. And then, and you know, we round it out with some hard boiled eggs. Eggs. I wonder if that's a phonetic. Is that, would that be considered a, um, a foundations ending? No. <laughs> oh. Sometimes the S does sound like a Z, though. Okay. So you wouldn't circle the Z. No, we would have an S there. So we would circle the S. Got it. Or not. Okay. Good luck with your lunch choice today, boys and girls. Keep it healthy.
And don't forget, Upper Providence, the online book fair is happening. May 12th is the last day for that. So get your books and help out Upper Providence. Good calls, guys. That's right. Uh, and s'more.com, there is the newest UPE newsletter. We have some pictures of staff with their pets. And don't forget the UPE Flipgrid. You can add to that. Hey, guess what? Birthday. I have a joke for you. Let's hear it. Yeah. Mr. Keel, what's brown and sounds like a bell? It's brown and sounds like a bell. A, a bell? A bell. Huh. Yeah. <laughs> no, that's not, that's not the answer. Oh. Dung. <laughs> it should be what smells like a bell. Mm. All right. Uh, Miss Flugler is still collecting pictures of students or staff reading their favorite book. There is a criteria. Let's get that for her by May 15th. And now for our celebrity birthdays. In 1840, we have Pyrotti Pi Pi Ivich Tchaikovsky, that dude. The person yep. that wrote and composed the Nutcracker Ballet. That his teacher must have had a really difficult time <laughs> when they were calling attendance in the morning. Yeah. Like, um, uh, Mr. P P T, yeah, P T. P T Pit 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 would be his abbreviations. Armpit. Yeah, that, that, that's a not a good you ever, one. Have you ever seen the uh, the Nutcracker? I have. Oh, was it good? It was a little painful. Okay. It, you know, it's, just, it's, it's very long. So, okay. Yeah. A lot to it. And here we go. In 1994, Edvard Munch's Munch, painting the screen was recovered a few months after it had been stolen. Happy they found it. I think I saw someone realized... in, my, in my class draw something similar to this. And... They could have been sold for probably millions of dollars. I know. That's so crazy. hold on to those drawings. <laughs> Just erase their name and put your name. It's easy thing to do. One of the person scream when they realized that it was missing. Maybe that's yeah. why they got the name. Oh, All right, boys and girls, and we have Fast Five here with Mr. Hedrick, where I ask him five questions, and he's going to respond as quickly as he can without much thinking. Oh, boy, I didn't expect this. Yeah. Well, welcome. Welcome to the show. Oh, man. All right, we're gonna start off with you are quarantined with only one food or meal or food item. What is it? Ice cream. Ice cream? Ooh, what kind of ice cream? Vanilla with peanut butter swirl. Ooh, that sounds good. And name three places you'd like to visit that you've never visited before. Hmm. Fiji. Fiji, okay. Would yeah. you stay in one of the overwater bungalows? Yes, that would be a... That's the only way. Pretty to nice place. Yeah. Let's see Australia. Mm hmm. Australia. Down under. And would probably. You veg, would you eat Vegemite? No. 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 No Vegemite. Yeah. It's tough. And probably Greece. Greece. Okay. What has been your favorite place to visit? You can say Canada favorite. if you want. Mm, my favorite place was probably Italy. Italy. Any particular place in Italy? Um, southern Italy, uh, like near the boot. Yes, the boot, the, the toe, the toe of the country. Yeah. Was, okay, and next question: life. Besides Upper Providence, what has been your favorite place that you've ever worked? Probably at the car wash. At the car wash, yeah. Basically, what was your job there? Played. What? What was your job at the car wash? Well, what did you do? I had to clean the cars and. I, I was the cashier. Okay. Yeah, so I took the money from the people, and then I told people what to do. Got it. Yeah. Gave the orders. I was the boss. Ooh. Uh, now, was this a drive through car wash, or was it a... Full hand? service drive Full service. Through. Now, you also used to detail cars, too, right? I did. And okay. then I was in college, and that was not as fun as the car wash. Yeah. Because a lot more, you know, a lot more work involved. Yeah, in the detail. labor, and in the summertime, it's hot in those cars. And question number four, an interesting fact that people may not know about you, Mr. Hedrick. Um, let me see. Interesting Let's get fact. Hmm. This is a this is a tricky one, actually. Actually, 
they didn't know that I originally went to college to become a dentist. Well, you have a history for helping kids get their teeth removed when they're wiggly, right? Exactly. I, I've probably pulled out over a hundred teeth out of the Providence. <laughs> Fourth graders will come back say, Mr. Hedrick, can you pull my tooth out? That's right. Okay. So if you were a former student or someone I pulled a tooth out for, you know, send Mr. <laughs> Keel a shout out. That's right. Put that in the links below too. Yeah. And I thought, uh, no, where is the first place, store, restaurant, whatever, uh, you're going to go to when things open back up? I'd probably go out for dinner. Just to, Where to? I don't know. Maybe Kumo. Okay. Or Red Robin. Yum. Yum. Do they still have the bottomless steak fries? They do. But you, you need to get the garlic parmesan fries. Are they good? They're really Obviously. Good. Yeah. Obviously, if you're recommending them. Now, Mr. Hendrick, you've also started to take up a hobby of trying to cut your own hair, correct? I have. How's it going? Do you see my hat? <laughs> hey, it's a, it's it's a, it's a learning curve, and you'll certainly get there each time. We'll get. I'm just not as skilled as you yet, but I've been not, doing it for about twenty years bad. now. So, yeah, three cuts hey, so plus. far since we've been off. Okay, okay, it'll get better and better each time. It Hardest will. part is the the neckline back here. Yeah. So, well, boys and girls, I am your host Scooter Magooter, alongside your very favorite Mr. Hetrick, first grade teacher, out there hoping that you kids have a scooterific day. Mr. Hedrick, anything you want to say to your class? Stay safe, boys and girls. Remember, it's screen-free week. So, <laughs> after your homework, put it down. Go outside and play. That's Unless right. Unless it's raining, and then play in the rain. That's right. Put on... If you have, no one ever got hurt from playing in water, right? No. Okay. I mean, Get muddy. Just fall, you go swimming. Yeah, go swimming. Yeah. All right. Cool. All well, right. thank you, Mr. Keel. You're welcome. Thank you for joining, Mr. Hetrick. And kids, we hope that you have a scooter.